हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज मुनम फ्रॉम डब्ल्यू पी स्विंग्स एंड वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू अवर चैनल ऑफ डब्ल्यू पी स्विंग्स वेर वी डिस्कस वर्ल्ड प्रेस एंड वो कॉमर्स सोल्यूशन दैट कैन हेल्प यू ग्रो योर ऑनलाइन बिजनेस विच विल अल्टीमेटली असिस्ट यू टू प्रोवाइड अ टॉप नॉच यूजर एक्सपीरियंस एंड कस्टमर सेटिस्फैक्शन हैंस स्टे ट्यून विद अवर चैनल टू कीप गेटिंग बैक टू बैक प्रोडक्ट टूटोरियल्स एंड इंटरेस्टिंग अपडेट टूडेज डेमो वीडियो इज ऑन द सब्सक्रिप्शन फॉर वो कॉमर्स फ्री प्लग इन इन विच आई विल डेमोन्स्ट्रेट हाउ टू सेट अप द प्लग इन यू कैन चेक एंड डाउनलोड द प्लग इन फ्रॉम द वीडियोज डिस्क्रिप्शन और फॉर एनी डाउट यू कैन पुट योर क्वेरीज इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड वी विल बी ग्लैड टू हेल्प यू बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग विद द प्लग इन सेट अप पार्ट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज सब्सक्रिप्शन फॉर वो कॉमर्स प्लग इन Subscriptions for WooCommerce is a free plugin that will help the WooCommerce merchants to transform your products into subscription product thus helping you to collect recurring revenue with the subscription plugin the admin can give free trials for the subscription products or can also charge initial fees on the subscription based products now let's move to the backend settings we are on the WordPress dashboard so before we move to the plugin setup part if you really like watching the plugin setup videos Make sure to subscribe to our channel and like and share the video. So now let us see how we can easily install the plugin. So for installing the plugin you have to hover on plugins and click on add new or simply here you can see that in the add plugins you can click on upload plugin and you can upload the zip file so uh, once you can visit wordpress.org and you can search for subscriptions for WooCommerce and you can download the plugin. and here you can also search here so here as you can see that this is the plugin subscriptions for woocommerce by wp swings so from here you can click on install button and then you can click on activate so already i have installed this plugin so once you have activated the plugin you have, you can hover on wp swings and click on subscriptions for woocommerce so once you have installed the subscriptions for woocommerce and activated it so you will be redirected to this multi step form where you can these uh, where you can complete these steps to start selling subscriptions like here as you can see that the first step is general settings second is create subscription third is subscription payment gateway configuration and fourth is final step so from here you can uh, perform some of the settings related to like enabling the plugin and changing add to cart button text and changing the place order button text so from if you want to uh, enable this from here so from here you can easily enable it and click on next next if you want to create the subscription product so directly you can create a subscription product directly from here and decide the subscription price subscription interval subscription frequency product name description short description and once you have done this you have to simply click on next and we have also uh, provided an integration and we have set up built in paypal gateway in our plugin so you just uh, simply need to click on this tick box uh, to enable the built in paypal gateway and if you want to check uh, check this uh, in the uh, test mode so by clicking on this you can test it in the test mode and you have to enter here the client id as well as the client secret id and for the old users they can go to woocommerce and payments and there they can enter the paypal client id and paypal client secret id for the built in paypal gateway so once you have done this you just need to click on next and you just need to click on finish so once you have done this uh, you will be redirected to the back end settings of subscriptions for woocommerce as it is here so we are on the back end settings and in this demo video i will explain you how you can easily convert your simple product into a subscription product and start collecting your recurring revenue as well as increase engagement on your store so as you can see that these are the some uh, these are the tabs that are overview general settings subscription table system status and developer so uh, firstly let me click on overview section so in this overview section the admin can get an overview of the plugin uh, related to like uh, subscriptions for woocommerce like what does uh, the plugin do and what are the splendid features of this plugin and he can get an idea about this plugin from this overview section and if you want to go through the documentation so simply you can click on here and you can go through the subscriptions for woocommerce documentation to understand the features in details and if you are facing any issues related to the plugin so you can reach out to us by clicking on support and we will be glad to help you so this was all about the overview section now let us move to the general settings so we are on the general settings uh, so in the general settings the admin will find the settings related to enabling or disabling the subscription changing the add to cart text or place order text and admin can also allow the customers to cancel the subscription and enabling the log so the very first field is enabling or disabling the subscription 
so from here the admin can click on this tick box to enable the subscription and if the admin wants to change the add to cart text and place order text uh, like if he wants to change that uh, text like if he don't want to show like add to cart and place order so simply he can enter the text whatever he wants to show in this like if i write uh, write like this add to cart here and place order here and if the admin wants to allow the customers to cancel the subscription so from here the admin can easily enable it with just one click and click on save settings so once you have saved the settings so let us go to the front end so here let me uh, like here as you can see that uh, the text is coming as add to cart here so let us click on this so as you can see that the text is coming here because from the back end we have uh, changed the text of add to cart button to add to cart here so that's why it's coming here so this is how the admin can easily change the text as per his requirement so let's click on view cart so from here let's proceed to checkout and let me click here uh, this and as you can see that the place order text has also been changed because from the back end we have also changed the uh, text of place order button so this is how the admin can easily change the text in uh, just few clicks and now let us go to my account and let us click on subscriptions and here let me click on show so as you can see that the option of cancelling is available for the customers because from the back end the, we have enabled the functionality to allow the customers to cancel the subscription anytime so if the admin wants to provide this functionality he just need to simply click on this and the customers will be able to uh, cancel the subscription anytime and uh, if he don't want to allow the customer so simply he can untick this and click on save settings and from here as you can see that this functionality has been disappeared so this is how the admin can alter these settings as per his business requirements next uh, as you can see that this is the enable lock so from here the admin can easily enable the lock for his store and he can find the uh, log as named as wps by going to woocommerce and clicking on status so here he can find the uh, log for this now let us move to subscription table so we are on the subscription table so from here the admin can find the detailed report related to the subscription including subscription id parent order id status product name next payment date username recurring amount subscription expiry date and also the admin can search the order by clicking on here so let me search with uh, 682 so as you can see that i have searched with the parent order id so as you can see that it is showing here so this is how the admin can easily search the order by uh, simply entering the parent order id and if the admin wants to cancel the subscription as soon as the admin will hover on this so the option of cancel will show like from here directly he can cancel that subscription anytime so with this subscriptions for woocommerce plugin it allows both admin as well as the customers to cancel the subscription anytime and if the admin wants to uh, like uh, change the status like uh, this particular orders are on hold so if he wants to complete that order make the status as active so simply he just need to go to woocommerce and click on orders the admin just need to go to woocommerce and click on orders and here from here he can uh, change the order status and ma make the subscription active so now let's again go back so this was all about the subscription table now let us see how we can easily create the subscription product so for this uh, you just need to go to products and click on all products or simply you can also click on add new so we are on the product section so now let us see how we can convert the simple product into a subscription product so uh, let's create a new product so let's click on add new and here let's name the product as new subscription and let's scroll down and here let me select the product ta uh, tag as subscription product and now let me select an image so i've also selected the product image as this and now let me scroll down and here you just need to uh, decide the price of your subscription product so i've decided hundred dollars and now uh, make sure you have clicked on this uh, to make it a uh, to make it a subscription product and after doing this you have to click on subscription settings otherwise if this is not enabled so subscription settings will not be available so let's click on this and now let's click on subscription settings so here as you can see that these are the four fields that are subscription per interval subscription expiry interval initial sign up fee and free trial interval so uh, here you can see that you can uh, decide like subscription per interval in days weeks months and years so i am deciding in months so uh, what is subscription per interval so basically subscription per interval means like if you have decided like one month so for every month uh, the customer has to pay the decided amount for the subscription so that is called subscription per interval that means you can decide the subscriptions uh, per interval that a customer has to pay after after every interval like if you decide like uh, days 
and here you have mentioned 10 days so after each day after each 10 days the customer has to pay that particular recurring amount uh, to continue for the subscription so here you can decide like uh, in weeks months and years so i've decided one month and here you can decide the subscription expiry interval so here you can enter the expiry interval for which particular date uh, the customers can use that particular subscription and after that a uh, subscription will be expired like here if i write like three months so like for i have if i have decided like three months so the subscriber will be able to enjoy the subscriptions for the three months and after that the subscription will get expired and will uh, will not uh, will no longer will be available for the users and after three months the subscription will get expired and will no longer will be available for the users next is initial sign up fee so if you want to impose a sign up fee for the customers uh, while purchasing the subscription so here you can enter the sign up fee uh, that the uh, that the customer has to enter while purchasing your subscription and that particular fee will be adjusted or in the next recurring uh, payment like if i decide like 10 sign up fee dollar 10 so a 10 dollar uh, sign up fee will be imposed for the customer while uh, buying this subscription and here it is free trial interval so uh, to delight your customers or uh, if you want to give a free trial to your customers so here you can decide for particular days or weeks or months or years how many time you want to give that particular trial interval after that the payment cycle will start for that particular subscription so first let me uh, click on this publish and now let me click on view product so here this is the product that i have created this is the subscription product uh, new subscription that is dollar hundred per month for three months and ten dollar is the sign up fee so this is because i have decided the amount uh, for the subscription product is dollar hundred and subscription per interval uh, i have decided uh, one month so here it is coming as dollar hundred per month for three months so this is how you can set this uh, settings as per your requirements like if i decide like uh, uh, initial sign up fee is ten dollars and if i want to give free trial interval so if i want to give free trial interval for three days so i just need to enter it here and let me click on update and now let me refresh this as you can see that uh, three days free trial is coming here so let me click on add to cart so as you can see that no charges uh, is uh, there for the customers because we have uh, decided a three days free trial after that the customer has to pay this dollar hundred uh, per month uh, to continue this subscription so let's again go back here and uh, let us click here and let let us decide this and let me click on update and let's refresh this so now as you can see that a uh, dollar 20 sign up fee is also charged and dollar 100 per month for three months is also charged and uh, that uh, total is dollar 120 so the initial expenses will be added in the uh, recurring subscription payment so this uh, sign up fee will be added in the next recurring payment so let's click on proceed to checkout so we are on the checkout and here you can fill the billing details and once you have filled the billing details so now let's click on place order so as you can see that the order has been placed so let us go to my account and let us click on subscriptions so here as you can see that this is the order that is hundred dollar per month so here as you can see that this is the uh, like subscription that is active and from here if uh, this is completed so let us go to subscriptions for woocommerce and here let me go to subscription table so that so like as you can see that the it is showing as next payment date as march 3 and subscription expiry date is may 1 for this particular uh, subscription that is here so uh, once i will click on cancel so the subscription will get cancelled so here let me refresh this so as you can see that the subscription has been cancelled from the admin so this is how you can easily create subscription and allow your customers to enjoy your subscription product and uh, the admin can easily approve that particular subscription that he wants to as per his requirements and the admin can also cancel the subscription anytime so this was all about the subscriptions for WooCommerce free plugin. Soon I will be coming up with the uh, subscriptions for WooCommerce Pro plugin in which I will demonstrate you about the premium features of the plugin. So stay tuned with our channel. So this was all about the demo video of subscriptions for WooCommerce free plugin in which I have explained you about how you can enable or disable the subscription, how you can create a subscription product and add a subscription product, add an initial sign up fee or give the free trial interval as well as cancel the subscription anytime and how the customers can cancel the subscription. So this was all about the subscriptions for WooCommerce. Now let us see what are the major advantages of the plugin. 
the admin can easily convert simple products into subscription products moreover the admin can also offer a free trial to the customers and the admin or the customers can both cancel the subscription plan or end the subscription plan at any time the woocommerce merchants can set the initial sign up fee for the subscription products and we have also provided the woocommerce paypal payment gateway integration with our plugin the links to the product have been mentioned in the video description content you can check and get all the details for any doubt contact us anytime and we will be glad to help you and if you have any doubts or queries you can put your queries in the comment section and if you are new to our channel make sure to subscribe to our channel like the video and press the bell notification icon to get all the latest update related to our channel until the next video stay connected with us thank you